This is Stuff. Hello and welcome to a uh, very different edition of Mark Fixes Stuff. Today I won't actually be fixing stuff, I'll be reviewing stuff. And it's my very first review and it's of this little item here which is a Busby 7 inch Android 4.0 mobile internet device. Now this was picked up for the princely sum of $47.99 delivered on ebuyer.com and I bought two of these so I'm going to do an unboxing and have a little review of it for you um, so that you can see whether it's worth it. Now the reason I bought two of these is I actually have two daughters. One is four, almost five, and one is six, almost seven. And we're going on holiday fairly soon, and we need something to keep them amused on the plane. Now, if this will do it, it's going to be worth its weight in gold. Uh, that probably won't be much, though. It seems to weigh very, very little. Um, I'm wondering if there's actually anything in the box. So, let's read the box. It's a seven-inch capacitive display with 800 by 480 pixel resolution, so that's actually quite low for a 7 inch tablet, however um, by year 6 you probably won't notice. Uh, it says it's Android 4.0.4 OS, a 1 GHz box chip Cortex-A8 ARM processor with a Mali 400 GPU, so that's um, a sort of a cheaper variant of the uh, 1 GHz um, processor, so it's not a Snapdragon, for example. Um, 512 megabyte DDR system memory, uh, DDR3, sorry. 4 gigabyte on board storage, which probably will be about 1.4 gigabyte left after the OS and all that stuff. Um, expandable to 36 gigabytes with micro SD, which means you can pop a 32 gig card in there. I've actually ordered a 16 gig card for each of them, which I'll probably load with cartoons for the plane. Um, what else have we got? Uh, 2300 milliamp hours lion ion battery for up to five hours use. Oh really? Five hours. Five hours. Might be five hours on standby. Um, and that's something I think I'll have to actually test for this uh, video. Um, 802.11bg and N Wi-Fi capability, 0 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera. Hang on. Whoop de doo. Mind you, I suppose it's good to have such a low-resolution camera on a tablet you're giving to a child because if any um, deviants on the internet were to see them, it'd be so blocky they wouldn't be able to actually recognise them as children. Okay, stereo speakers. Uh, don't see that happening. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone out. Blah, blah, blah. Application market and Busby apps access. Oh great, so they're gonna try and sell us apps. Mm, awesome. Um, access to popular social feeds such as Facebook and Twitter. Well, they're too young for all that. They're not gonna date until they're 25. And communication via the internet using apps such as Skype. Well, that'd be quite cool because if they've got one each and we're on the Wi-Fi, <laughs> They can actually Skype each other from different ends of the house. Um, if you're as old as I am, you probably remember things like little walkie-talkies, which had the range of maybe getting through a small wall if it didn't have bricks in it, and you'd talk to your sibling that way. And uh, unfortunately, I'm a little bit older than that, and I remember things like telephones with wires, which your dad had to set up, and he never would, because he was awfully tired after a day at work down the mines. Anyhow... Right, so, 7-inch uh, Android 4, mobile internet device, Busby 7, 47 99 delivered on ebuyer.com in the UK. Let's unbox this beastie. So let's get uh, the trusty orange scissors, which my wife doesn't know that I have. And we'll just run down there, and then down there. They don't know they're getting these, by the way, so... Uh, I bought a screen protector, a 16 gig card, and these fairly hideous fake leather, um, fake leather case things in pink, which I'm going to, go which will hopefully allow these to survive the trip. But um, yeah, the feeling is these are probably going to be fairly disposable. So uh, there, 
There you go. Right, uh, probably best to switch to a better camera view now. And um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so if anybody actually cares about these spurious claims that are mounted on the box, then uh, here you go. Fill your boots, young man. Fill your boots. Right, that's your lot. And the front of the box, which features some very busy bees, which I imagine is a play on word with biz bee. Hmm. Brilliant. Comedy genius. Perrier Award in the making. Anyway, let's see what's inside this sucker. So whipping off the lid, eventually, it's actually quite a robust box for the price and you don't usually get robust stuff in robust boxes for cheap prices. So uh, what do we have here? Busby 7 Quick Start Guide. It's probably very, very useful indeed. Description of the device. It's a tablet. Before using your Busby 7 for the first time, please charge the battery completely. Charge it for at least. When the battery has been totally drained, please charge the Busby 7 for at least five minutes before powering the tablet. Oh, so it won't turn on if it hasn't got any battery. Uh, what do we have here? Absolutely useless bunch of instructions, but let's be honest, we know what these things do or we wouldn't be buying them. The Bus B7 allows for file transfer in three different ways. Via the USB OTG port, when connected to a PC, blah, 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 blah. Via an external drive. Oh, really? Tablet will recognize a USB drive not supplied, which can be attached to the tablet via the supplied USB cable adapter. It's then possible to transfer files to and from the tablet. Well, that sounds interesting. Or via the micro SD card slot not supplied, blah, blah, blah. Recycling, da, da, da. If you kill it, you've got to take it to the tip and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, really rubbish. So what do we have here? Okay, well, I'm not expecting too much goodness, but, um, have a look. Uh, some kind of foam bag, which is always good. And let's have a looky there. Nope. Hang on, we won't. Let's have a look at the accessories first. We'll keep the meat until the main course. A really nice piece of foam, which uh, you can use for your own purposes. And a piece of cardboard, which packs out the rest of the otherwise completely empty box. Right, so what do we have here? There's actually something in here. I hope it's the power supply because otherwise we're, uh, we're in pretty poor shape. So, uh, have a look here. What have we got? Um, a plug-in-the-wall USB adapter. Okay, let's see what milliamps this outputs. Actually outputs... 1000 milliamps, so one amp. So it's uh, actually a very, very standard piece of kit, but nice that it's supplied. So we'll pop that down there. What's this? Um, micro USB cable, I think. Yes, anybody who's had a Blackberry and had to throw it in the bin because it's absolutely crap will probably have a couple of these lying around. So, uh, standard USB cable. This must be the on the go cable, which. Uh, I don't bother opening the bag here, but it's uh, yeah, pretty much yeah, USB adapter. Allegedly, you can use things like keyboards with this, but um, not tried, and kind of takes the portability aspect out, if you ask me. So uh, we'll put that to one side and let us have a look at the tablet. Well, first impressions, um, we've got a bit of weight to it, but not too much, and ah. Here we go. So it's, uh, hello. Here I am. Yes. Hello. Um, screen protector jobby. Let's have a look. Nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good for 47 quid. What can you expect? Well, nearly 48, but who's counting? Okay. So, uh, the front face is pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the Back aspect, it's got a lovely green sticker on it, that's nice. Uh, a couple of little marks on the people work there, but um, other than that. Caution, do not open the casing due to risk of electric shock. Hmm, 
Um, along this side we've got, try and get that into shot actually. Along this side we've got the uh, micro USB, micro SD card slot, not sure what that is, probably some sort of speaker. Um, along this edge we have some power buttons, which is always helpful. Um, probably volume there, and uh, I don't know, back button maybe. Oh, there's things here to let us know that they are actually power, plus or minus for the volume, and uh, back or return button. Okay, so uh, let's see if this power's on. I'm just going to reconfigure the camera so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, so here's the tablet itself. Uh, I think what we do is a, a little power on and see how quickly it comes up. And I think what we do is we turn the light out as well because you might get a reflection of me and trust me, nobody wants that. So, Busby 7s and Busy Busy Bees and here's the little Android clockwork thing, clockworking away. This is probably going to take ages. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble focusing now because it's quite dark. Do, 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 do. Oh, now that was quicker than expected, to be honest. Let's see what we've got here. No internet connection, obviously. And, um, yeah, Android 4. There we go there. And what do we actually have? Um, camera, settings, browser, email, uh, play music, and Busby apps. Where's the Play Store? Does this actually have the Play Store enabled? So let's pop into the apps and see what we've got here. Choose some apps to add an app to your home screen. Touch and hold it. Sounds a bit rude if you ask me. Um, hmm. What do we have here? Play Store, of course. Play Store isn't gonna be set up because Google insists that everything is tied. Come on, come back into focus. Everything exists. No. Google insists that everything is tied to a Google email account, so add a Google account. Well, I'm not going to do that on camera, obviously, but I will go away now and I will come back when I have charged the device. Back. Very nice. Okay, so I didn't actually move the camera and all the kit and caboodle because that would have been a pain in the backside. Um, what I did do was go and move my monitor because that's in the way of the uh, the wireless router. In fact, there's three monitors in the way on my editing machine. So uh, I've moved one of those and I've got the only important one little there. Uh, but, but I have to say that is not fantastic when you consider that my Dell streak here actually has, I don't know if you can see there, a considerable um, amount more signal that's picking up. In, oh no, actually it's dropped. Oh well, hush my mouth. Um, but like I say, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is and it's $47.99 delivered. So uh, what can you expect? So uh, let's go and look at apps, see what we've got apps wise, games, it's quite responsive. Um, so what shall we go for? How about something that we all know and love? Angry Birds. Angry Birds, let's download that. It's free. Install. Accept and download like you have a choice. Keep shopping. They like the idea that you're shopping, don't they? They don't want to actually... Uh, Don't want to actually step away from the monetization process at all. So, um, yep, so that's being downloaded and installed as we can see here in the little status bar. Um, we're not going too fast here. So, 11.56 pm. Oh, it's clocking along. What I find sometimes is Android devices, they can have a really fast connection to Wi Fi. Um, however, when you um, download, they, they periodically pause and I think it's caching it to the, uh, the SD card a lot of the time so uh, maybe that's it so that's downloading whilst it is downloading I'll take an opportunity to uh, just 
So that back button there. You've also got the back, home, apps list there, no recent apps. Turn your volume up and down with these buttons here. Go back to the desktop, a couple of clicks. So yeah, it's quite responsive. Um, and I've got to say the screen works really well. Uh, it's a lot better than I was expecting for um, the low, low price. So we're going to music, see what music we've got. Put some generic stuff on. How about a bit of, I don't even know who these people are. Um, welcome to Google Play Music. Do you want to buy stuff from Google? Well, we'll add it. But we'll say not now. Um, because I can't be bothered. So, what is this? It's quite a nice little interface. Pink. Okay. One thing I will say is it's really quite quiet. Um, but that's not a problem because we've got some headphones for them on the plane anyway, so they won't annoy the other travellers. That's just stereo music coming out there apparently. Anyway, enough of that. Let's stop it because um, unfortunately, if I do this for too long, YouTube will flag my video and probably delete it and send the YouTube ninjas round to beat me within an inch of my life. So let's go back. Um, the camera is, as you can imagine, pretty poor. Okay, here's me. Hello. Hello. Uh, there's a little bit of a glare there on the screen, obviously. One thing I have noticed is that when you're at the optimum angle for seeing your own face, um, you're sort of not at the best viewing angle to actually see the screen. Um, that's probably a bit to do with the, the quality of the thing. So the zoom in works quite nicely there. You know, and for what it is, that would probably do quite a good video call anyway. Um, you've got a video camera option as well. So you could video yourself here. And uh, we're videoing ourselves here. Now the uh, quality is probably as you'd expect. Um, let's just move away from the main camera and we'll do it that way. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens if I pop the moon lights on here. So what I find is with a lot of light you can pretty much get the best quality. So how's that? How do I look? I'm not ready for my close-up Mr. B. DeMille. So this is the, uh, the camera working with the benefit of uh, around um, 1500 watts of light. So uh, the ISO settings should be well up there and I'll, I'll edit this into the video itself. God, I'm rough. <laughs> okay, so we'll stop that for now. Good. Um, try to think what else we can show that's interesting. But I will say, I think that this tablet is excellent. Excellent value for money. Um, I've put a little screen protector on here that I bought for £2 off of eBay. Um, it's all sorts of the, the normal things you can do. Looks like. Um, Angry Birds is actually loaded now. I've hit the wrong icon though, so uh, this is a game called I Have No Effing Idea. Uncle Bricks or something. And it's already trying to sell my six year old something. Hugh Bricks! That's right, she likes this one allegedly. And I just hit the, uh, the button to come out of it. Or did it crash? What do you think, YouTube? Did it crash? Noodle Cake Games. Yellow Monkey, who's going to try and sell me something immediately. Quick start. Ah, no idea. Um, I 
Right, find it fairly difficult to care, so we'll come out of that. Let's actually go to the Angry Birds app. Are you sure you want to exit? We want to sell you something else. So uh, we'll just uh, put that back and let's try some Angry Birds. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the, the screen itself isn't that high resolution, but but um, I have to say it holds up pretty well. Let's just get that sort of in the centre there. Okay, so oh, crumbs. I'll be starting your birds from there anyway. Rovio, oh yes. I wouldn't mind having a pound less than Rovio. Okay. Loading time. Do I want to play tunes? No idea. So this is pretty much Angry Birds as everybody knows. Let's skip that and the uh, instructions. Okay, so now everybody knows that I completely suck at Angry Birds. But I think you'll also see that this runs pretty well. Let's zoom all the way in here. Yeah. As close as I can. Um, so I'm on a dolly here, so it's a it's a toughie. So let's go next. Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, budget device. Yet to try Skype on it. Um, no reason to believe it won't work. Absolutely fine. Um, test it with headphones, sounds great. Got a gallery here, which uh, we can go in and see some films, whatever this is. Probably get shot by YouTube for this. Oh, by the way, the colour's slightly off on the camera because um, the white balance is off for the, the luminescence method of the screen. And I frankly can't be bothered to work it out. So let's just have a clip here for educational purposes only. Name that film. Consider yourself one of us. Consider yourself one of the family, Oliver. Yes, that beauty. Let's hop straight into the action there. And you can't really see it on this because of the encoding, the videoing, and the recoding. The, the quality is pretty good. Um, that will keep them nice and happy on the plane. Anyway, um, I won't take up any more of your time. If you do have any questions about this budget tablet, then feel free to pop the questions down there okay and i hope you've enjoyed this review this is mark from mark fixes stuff signing off remember subscribe to get your fix